Merger agreements often contain material adverse effect clauses. Such provisions allow a party to walk away from the transaction if an event occurs that's materially adverse to the target company. A Delaware court explored what type of event constitutes such material adverse effect in Hexion Specialty Chemicals v. Huntsman Corporation. Hexion Specialty Chemicals entered a merger agreement to purchase Huntsman Corporation, another chemical company, for about $10 billion. The merger agreement contained several important provisions. First, the agreement contained no financing contingency, meaning Hexion was required to purchase Huntsman even if its financing fell through. Second, the agreement required Hexion to use its best efforts to consummate the merger and not do anything to interfere with its financing. Third, the agreement contained a material adverse effect clause, allowing Hexion to back out of the deal if an event occurred that materially affected Huntsman's financial condition or ability to do business as a whole. And finally, the agreement capped Hexion's liability at $325 million unless it knowingly or intentionally breached the agreement. Shortly after signing the agreement, Huntsman reported disappointing earnings. Based on these numbers, Hexion concluded that the merger would produce a lower-than-expected return and began looking for ways to back out. Hexion hired a consulting firm to provide an opinion that the combined Hexion-Huntsman entity would be insolvent and released news to the media that the deal wouldn't close. As a result, lenders withdrew Hexion's financing. Hexion brought an action against Huntsman seeking a declaration that Huntsman had suffered a material adverse effect, allowing Hexion to back out of the merger, or in the alternative, that Hexion's liability was capped at $325 million. Huntsman counterclaimed, requesting specific performance. The Delaware Court of Chancery considered the case.